I wanted to address what I see as misconceptions in this world of typology. We all know there are a lot of stereotypes out there, but I want to address the misconceptions because stereotypes are usually just an oversimplified way of looking at something. It's not necessarily false, it just doesn't go deep enough. But a misconception is something that is incorrect because it's based on a lack of understanding or it's based on a faulty way of, of thinking. So today I want to address a commonly held misconception that I have seen online with regards to the INFJ personality type. And that misconception is that INFJs are good listeners. When I see a lot of these things, I automatically think how ridiculous it is. I've seen all kinds of misconceptions as I've read through comments and even looked at some articles online. Some are borderline ludicrous, if you ask me. I saw a comment one time. It was actually a conversation between two people. One person was sharing their observations of another person and was listing you know, the person's faults and the problems that they were having in a relationship with that person. And in the comment section, the other person who was responding said, that person can't be an INFJ because INFJs are never selfish. <laughs> and this is the kind of stuff that makes me laugh, you know? I mean, it is ludicrous. I saw another article one time about how INFJs love the rain. If you are an INFJ, you must love rainy days. And if you engage that logical side of your mind, you could say, well, why do I love rainy days or why do I love sunny days? You know, why do I prefer one over the other? I mean, maybe you love rainy days because you grew up in Washington State and that's what you're used to. Maybe you love sunny days because you grew up in a state like Colorado that gets over 300 days of sunshine a year. Or you could even take that logic and flip it over. And you could say the opposite. Maybe you hate rainy days because you grew up in Washington and you don't want to ever see another drop of rain for as long as you live. Perhaps you hate sunny days because you lived in Colorado and you just can't wait to see some rain to break up the monotony of all that sunshine. So that's why I'm calling this video misconceptions or commonly held misconceptions because I think that all of these things that I see are not necessarily stereotypes but are just poor logic. I mean, that's what it is. It's a result of poor logic. So today I want to debunk the misconception that INFJs are good listeners. That is absolutely not true. Can INFJs be good listeners? Absolutely. But being an INFJ does not automatically make you a good listener. In fact, your personality type has nothing to do with whether or not you are a good listener. I would suggest that most people are not good listeners. Think about it. When you put yourself out there and you go out and interact with people in the world, if you really observe people, you find that good listeners are rare, truly good listeners. Most people that you meet don't know how to listen. And I would suggest that's because a lot of people in this world are very self-centered. They just want to talk about themselves. They haven't learned the art of listening. And listening is an art. Listening is a skill. People don't have to learn how to talk about themselves. People need to learn how to listen. It's a skill to listen. It has to be conscientiously developed. When I was a young girl, my father's side of the family was very loud. I remember we used to go over there to my grandmother's on Sunday afternoons and spend hours there with the entire family, my father's siblings, all the children, my cousins. Um, sometimes even friends would stop by. But what I remember most about that as a child is how loud it was. It was a loud family. And basically, it felt like everyone was trying to talk over everyone else. 
that was my earliest observations because even as a child I was very interested in people and I was always taking things in as relating to others and how people behaved and how they acted in certain situations so what I noticed is that they were never listening to one another I remember sitting there watching them in conversation and they weren't listening to each other they were just trying to out talk each other and my father was like that as well he wasn't a good listener and that's another early memory as well talking to my father he would talk and I would want to respond but as I was talking I was looking at him and I knew instinctively that he was thinking of the next thing he wanted to say as I was talking in other words he was not listening to me he was thinking ahead to his next words and he was saying them in his mind and I remember observing him doing this and how did I know this because at some point I recognized it in myself I actually witnessed this behavior in myself I did the very same thing I remember people would talk to me and as they were talking I was formulating my next set of thoughts now you could argue why I did that you know did I learn it from experience or was that also just kind of a natural way for me as well in reality real conversation made me nervous not small talk I could always get through that just fine but real conversation made me unsettled because I never knew how to express myself simply because I really never knew what I was thinking or that was one reason sometimes I wasn't sure what I thought about something or also it could have been that I was just afraid to say what I thought so I was always having to think ahead in some sense I think it was a survival mechanism but you know after a point it just became ridiculous and it was apparent that I was a poor listener I mean I had to look in the mirror and admit to myself I was a poor listener you know it didn't matter what the reasons were I wasn't listening to people when they were talking to me and as soon as I realized this about myself that's the day that I set out to make a change and that's the key to this it's introspection you know you don't know that you have a fault until you're able to look at yourself honestly in the mirror and sum up your flaws and try to do better recognize that you need to do better and that's what I did and so from that point on I really worked hard at becoming a good listener so just because you're an INFJ doesn't mean you're automatically a good listener I would argue that just because you're human probably makes you a poor listener you know I think it's a condition that most of us share I mean rare is the person that is born a good listener and there might be some of those people out there but for the most part I think you have to develop that skill you have to know that it's something you have to work at and I don't need to sit here and reiterate you know things that have been written by other people but you know good listeners are successful people you can learn so much by being a good listener so it's definitely a worthwhile skill that you should seek to develop but don't think that just because you are a certain personality type that it automatically makes you a good listener because that's simply not true that is a misconception just a little word of warning now <laughs> if you do set out to develop the skill of becoming a good listener it could backfire on you because what did I say earlier we live in a world of people who mostly want to talk about themselves so when you do become a good listener you will be sought after because most people just want to talk about themselves but that's my uh, cynical side speaking <laughs> overall it's a good thing to be a good listener like I said you can learn so much and I do believe successful people know that that's a skill that they have to develop and they go after it in that way so be careful when hearing these misconceptions online you know run them through the logical mill in your mind and question if it's really true is this really true about my type or is it just a misconception?